Welcome, Gemini, to your weekly love tower readings from the those of you that are new to this channel. I'd like to welcome you guys. For those of you that um, are returning, welcome back. And of course, thanks for all, your, all of your continuous support here. So, as always, the reading that I'm going to be doing here, it is going to be a general tarot spread and um, it probably won't resonate with every Gemini out there watching. So, please take what resonates with you and just discard the rest. Or perhaps you would like a personal tarot reading with me to do so please feel free to inquire i am going to list my email address for you all just at the bottom of the video here where the show more section is uh just along with all the different types of readings that i offer and you'll find that a personal reading is going to resonate with you a lot more closely as it is personally intended for you so the reading key is um, intended for gemini ascendant sun moon venus and rising and um, of course to those of you who have dropped into crosswatch uh so it is uh It'll work if you're single, if you're, comp if you're a couple up, or if you have a romantic interest in mind as I do this reading. Okay, so let's take a look at the messages that are coming in for you here, Gemini, this week in particular. Oh, we've got the moon in reverse. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, and the Knight of, Wand the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, interesting. I must have... Okay, I normally don't do cards in reverse, but when they pop up, I don't say no like that because I feel like it's a message, right? It's a message that we shouldn't uh, ignore or overlook here. The moon card is definitely speaking to me, okay? And the fact that it's come out in reverse like this. Um, the moon card here depicts a world of fantasy. It's a world where our dreams and our fears co coexist together, okay? And I feel like Gemini, this is... Um, this is quite expressive of uh, the emotions that I feel like you're feeling right now. There's a lot of fears or there's a lot of insecurities that reside within you about a connection or, um, you know, you're feeling a type of, um, like you're feeling anxious about a connection or about the direction of this connection and where things are going here, okay? Um, the moon favors, interestingly enough though, the moon favors the emotional over the logical, over the rational. So right now, and you know, typically for a Gemini, you guys are air signs and you always like to take a logical standpoint or a logical approach to things. But as of lately, I feel like you're really, um, you're really listening to your emotions here. I feel like you're really in tune with your emotions here. Or if you're not, you probably should be because there is some... There's some sort of emotional hunch that you're getting as of recently. There's some sort of chill, um, an impulse, a chill, a hunch, um, whatever it is. There is something here that it's your intuition. It's some sort of, yeah, something here is communicating, is trying to communicate something to you. Now, for some of you, I feel like it's screaming, it's yelling at you. For others of you, I feel like this emotional hunch is whispering, so you might have to listen carefully. Don't ignore it, because I feel like that's the worst thing you could do. And I feel, yeah, I feel like you're, you're choosing either not to listen to uh, this emotional hunch, or you're choosing to overlook it. Now, when it comes to your romantic connection here, okay, I'm feeling a sense of it's an emotional roller coaster. It's been an emotional roller coaster for you, and I'm getting a sense of stuckness here, okay? Um, perhaps you've been on a romantic connection that you feel is a little bit stagnated. You feel like the two of you aren't growing. You feel like the feelings, um, you know, you're not building on the emotions, or you're not building on what the two of you have. You feel like or perhaps you feel like it lacks direction. You're not really sure where this is going. You may not see long-term prospects. And that's a problem for you, Gemini, because you're always thinking. You're always, you know, X amount of steps ahead. And when you're not actually, when you're not anticipating something or when you're not actually able to see something clearly ahead of you, I feel like that's an issue. And I feel like that's trying to, it's, it's saying something, right? It's saying something. And the fact that you can't see where this is going or you're not certain of where this is going, or the fact that you have some sort of fear or anxiety over where this is heading, um, it's definitely saying something. Someone here, there's a lot of uh, duality in this connection. There's a lot of dualism here, okay? Two of Pentacles, or Two of Swords, and of course the Moon card, and the, all the um, duality that's happening in the Moon card. So... Is it you, Gemini? Are you in two minds about this connection? Are you back and forth um, about this connection? Are you uncertain about this, um, about what you feel about this individual or your romantic interest? Or perhaps it is the energies of your romantic interest? Or perhaps it's both of you. You guys are both uncertain of each other and 
or you're uncertain about this connection or you're just not sure what to do or what to do with this connection or where to go from here and that's not good because i feel like those energies are bouncing off each other and you're feeding off each other and that uncertainty that feed that anxiousness is only multiplying as a result so i feel like someone he needs to get clear someone he needs to get clear and someone he needs to decide you need to decide um, with the emperor here. I feel like someone he needs to make a decision and then move forward because this back and forth energy. You take a step, you know, you take a step forward and then you take two steps back, only to end up where you started. So, uh, I'm telling you, this is not going to get you anywhere. And in fact, this is going to feel, if you continue to do this type of, uh, you know, song and dance, it's going to feel stagnated. It's going to feel like, um, you know, it's not moving anywhere. So what you need right now in terms of a connection I'm seeing is movement. Okay, is movement. I'm seeing decisions here. I'm seeing whoever is sitting on the fence about things, they need to get off the fence because you can't be sitting on the fence about a connection. You're either in or you're out. Okay, take a pick. You're in or you're out. If this is you, Gemini, you need to decide. If this is the energies of your special person, you need to um, you need to um, tell them that they need to make a decision. And if someone is not certain about you, or if someone is not clear about you or this connection, maybe you can help them get a little bit more clearer. Okay, however you want to do that. But I'm seeing that someone here is a little frustrated someone here's a little irritated about um this back and forth energy or about this hot and cold energy or about this you know um, we're a couple and we're an item but it's actually not going anywhere perhaps there is someone here who is scared of commitment okay perhaps um the person that you're interested you're romantically interested in you know they may be because you do have a lot of air energy they may be promising you something but never actually delivering on the promises or I'm seeing either someone here, this could also be true for some of you, either someone here, your romantic interest may be wanting to make a decision for you, and it's like, I just feel like Gemini, your reaction is like, how dare you decide for me? Like, it's like they've, I don't know, I just feel like someone here, and I feel like it's resulted in men some sort of mental aggression or you guys have recently had a fight to do with this like you guys maybe aren't talking right now with the two of swords there is blocked communication there is just this blocked energy it may not even be, like you guys may be talking but there's this blocked energy like there's no breakthrough in the connection and i feel like that's exactly what you need in order to successfully move forward you need a breakthrough and you need to break out of this cycle this you know up and down this on and off or an item or not an item where a thing it's on now it's off we communicate now we don't um you know you need to stop this song and dance okay um stop this cycle because i feel like someone here is reluctant to move forward and i feel like it's their fear and anxiety that is preventing them from moving forward so i'm not sure if this is your energy because you know it um, air of, uh, the eight of swords does um represent um Air energy so it could be you Gemini maybe you're afraid to move forward with this connection maybe you're afraid to take the plunge here maybe you're afraid of commitment of course it could be the energies of the other of your special person but because there's such a strong sense of duality in your spread I feel like you guys are feeding off each other like I feel like if you're uncertain about this connection um, it doesn't make the situation like it doesn't improve the situation i feel like it only worsens it because they're absorbing your um energy they're soaking up your energy and then they're uncertain about the connection here okay and this is why it lacks direction or this is why it feels oh stagnated here okay because it feels like it just feels like you're stuck i'm getting a sense of okay now what where do we go from here you know what lies ahead and sometimes you don't need to see what lies ahead. You just need to take that first step and you just need to trust in where it is that you're going. But there's something here that you're not willing to see. And I don't know what it is, but I feel like you're not choosing to see it. You're not choosing to see something here, either about this individual. Maybe you're not choosing to see the fact that this person is reluctant on committing. Okay? They've given you excuses. They've been putting up in excuses. And the two of you have had a lot of differences, I can see. Like, I feel like you guys clash a lot, okay? You either need to find a way to make it work and find a happy medium. Um, or else. I just feel like, yeah, you're choosing to ignore something that now I feel like is a problem. You didn't, you didn't deal with that earlier, Gemini. But now, all of a sudden, it, it's a problem now. 
Okay, Jamies, and that is your spread. So thank you guys for watching and listening. Please take care and um, stay safe. Uh, and otherwise, uh, I will catch up with you guys later in the week.